How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back to the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Game Builder's Garage. I guess we're learning Tag Showdown now. Adding player controls. Okay. Hey, Bob. Bob the Dot. I still can't get over that. So glad you made it. Welcome to the Interactive Lessons. <laughs> yeah, I know. I literally just said hi, Bob. I can't wait to start working with you. Well, it's a day to remember. Because you're going to make your very first... Okay. Well then. What am I watching? game, attacker will chase after a runner while dodging a torrent of rolling balls. Sounds fun already, right? Um, sh what? Sure. And this thrilling game will be played out right here on the game screen. Of course, you can't play anything just yet. I mean, you haven't even programmed the game yet. Man, I can't play air! From now on, the programming that you do on the program screen will be reflected right here on the game screen. Without further ado, let's head over to the program screen and start programming our game, okay? Thanks. This is where you call up Nodon and program, okay? Let's get our, character, our player character up and running. For that, we'll need to call a person Nodon. Person. Hi. Person note on. Wow. Hello. Nice program. Okay. Time for me to step into the limelight. Okay, so what happened after we placed the person note on? Let's take a look at the game screen and find out. Okay. 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 Next up, we'll want to be able to control our player. Duh. Nope. It doesn't matter. It ain't doing nothing. See, the person isn't moving at all. Yeah, no kidding. This is where the programming comes in. Let's get our player character mobile. Sticky, time to do what you do best. Sending over the output from the control stick. Boing! Amazing, our player character is moving with L. Cool, I'm going off the screen, bye! How far, wait, how far can I go? One, two, three, four, five. It's like endless, where... Okay. Now, with the cover, we can move on to something else. Wouldn't it be good if the person could jump? Yeah. Let me guess. Input. First move it. Okay. Button press. B. Yo! Okay, a button note on. Call me button. 
no, 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 your button bashing, buddy. Buttons are getting bashed, I gotta cover. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Drag him here. And this. Two. Oh my gosh. There we go. That button gets bashed. You can be sure you'll know. I'll let you know. Okay. Thanks, bud. Wow. I jump really high. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over, Bob! <laughs> I'm done testing it out, head back, okay. Okay, guess what? That's it. That was step one. I don't mind saying, I'm pretty excited about, okay. Okay. Uh, that was step one. Welcome again. Thank you, I guess. Let's get right back to building our game tag. First, let's have a little look back at what we've already done. I'm s I jumped so... Ju Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over, Bob! You got it. This time around, we'll be building the floor and walls that set the stage for our game of tag. Okay. Building the floor and walls, but first, we need to decide where we're going to put... Okay. Whoa! Alright, that, that's, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. But if we're going to do that, we'll need to, the help of the game screen. Note on here. Okay. Hello, darlings! Okay, hi. Oh, and you must be nice to hear. Everyone's saying you're the next big thing. With you at the helm, this is going to be a simply stunning production. We're sure to rise to the very top, darling. We make you... <laughs> oh, no. You can determine which part of the program... Okay. I couldn't have put it better myself, darling. Whatever I frame will appear vividly and thrillingly on the game screen. Okay. So, okay, I'm supposed to do it till it fits the blue frame. What the heck? I can hear my guy running around, and he's like, Hey! There's my guy. Hello, guy. I think you'll notice that our player character is nowhere to be seen. What are you talking about? He's right there. He jumps really high. Well, that's an easy fix. Move this down there. Or, you know, we can move this. Sure to get my good side. Um. Not anymore. We don't. We saw. Uh. Just show me how to make the floor, please. I want to jump over Bob again. Go to objects. Simple. And a box. Okay. It still didn't work.
disable the option removal, destructive, and destructive all. Okay. Oh. Huh. I would just want to jump over Bob again. Let the object know it on me. Okay. Ow. Perfect. Now that's a much more reassuring size. They won't fall off quite so easily now. Hmm, floor is doing its floor thing, but its color is kind of plain. Sure. Settings. Color. Ooh. But I want to make it. I want to make it green. Well, that's not nice. Okay. Awesome. Is it though? It's awesome that I'm jumping over Bob again. Kinda. I'm gonna pretend his feet aren't hitting Bob. I'm actually jumping over him. You mean like that? <laughs> and let me guess, you put the walls over This. Come on, I can be a well, no problem. Sure. Wouldn't I want to do this one? Oh, I know what I'm doing. This one over here. Ta da! And the walls are complete! Cool. Aw, oh, man. Nice, safe brown walls. Brown is boring! No need to worry about our player falling into the abyss now. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yes! I hereby declare step two complete. Okay, creating floors and walls. That's step two, apparently. But bye, I guess. And I'm assuming Alice's guide has some stuff for us. Let's go check out Alice's guide really quick. This time there's a person on the game screen. Okay. Hi. Um. Is this just like a rehash thing? Okay, I'm bored. Okay, select the stick note on. Go to settings, okay. Oh! Huh, you can change it. Wait. What did I just... Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That, oh, that's just weird. <sighs> what do 
you think? I want to change it back. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. So what happens if stick note on were to transmit an up and down direction? Oh. Huh. You can always test it and find out. I'm assuming what it would do is it would make him go forward and backward instead. Okay. Guess I'll close it. What the hell? It still goes left and right, but... That's weird. Can I... No, that's just weird. Yeah, that's so weird. They move left and right, even though you were moving them up and down. They should be going forward and backward. saying okay so I'm I, I I'm I'm dumb move it to forward yeah okay bye how far out does my character go he's running away wow he goes pretty far out um, let's go back to the program screen. How far does it go? Is he eventually going to stop? Ha! Bye! How was it? Take my control stick settings. Okay. Okay, well that was interesting, but weird. Uh, all right, the game screen, why not? Hello. On the game screen, you can see two boxes, yeah? On the left is blue, and one on the right is red. Yeah, I know, I can tell color. Hey! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. Hey, all do for you today. Ooh, I know that one. You came to find out all about me, didn't you? <laughs> I'm the game screen note on. I'm going to explain everything, so pay attention for a moment, dear. Okay. I, I get what you do. I think I did a good job of capturing this kind of performance of what? Me, I'm afraid. So it's true. Don't just do my job, you know. No, no, no. This is all wrong. Perfectly displaying note on is my job, you know. Could you move the objects inside my frame? Yeah, okay. Now I'm over here. Much better. Now I'm getting object note on's best side. What's the difference? Outside you can see the whole box. The red box is now fully displayed on the game screen. Okay. You see the red box in all its red epoxy glory. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh. And it isn't only the object node on that can move around though. I can even move the game screen itself. Yoo-hoo! My sweet little red box object note on. Yes. You're just so red and square and fabulous. I need your center screen at first. Um. D screw the blue one. Okay. Wonderful. So 
box got bigger. Okay. Change how things are displayed on the game screen. That being said, we've now made it to okay. Welcome back. Well, the box was perfectly centered, wasn't it? It was, but that means that the blue box is completely out of sight. Okay. Oh, no! We simply can't have that. It's very important to me that the other note on our couch is properly on the game screen. Please move the stray object. No, okay. Somehow I figured it was going to have me do that. Perfect! The camera loves you as much as I do, darling. Whatever. I don't even know what to say to this. Just remember that you can change what's shown in the game by changing what the game screen on surrounds. Okay. Welcome back. Let's always collaborate and do justice to the magnificent visuals of your mighty games, okay? Together we'll be the best looking game ever. Well, bye-bye for now. Um, sure. Basic, basics of object properties. I'm just kind of getting to, okay. Hello there. Hi. Right now, all that's on the game screen is the blue box. See how it fell on the ground? Or how it fell? Wait. Use the retry button. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. This time, we're going to try changing the setting for this object. Ugh. Hey, y'all. What can I do for you? Ah, you're looking for a way to make it so the object doesn't fall. Properties, I don't know. Well, object note on that was about as clear as mud. You didn't actually explain what to do. Uh, sorry, Hawkins on my strong suit. Go on and open my settings, then disable the. Okay. Much better. Movable, destructive, destructible, god. Now it's not going to move, but I can still destroy... Okay. See? The object no longer falls down. That's because we disabled movable. Uh-huh. Okay. Re Am I trying to make this thing fall? Okay. If you want to make it so an object doesn't fall, all you need to do is change its properties. Okay. Welcome back. Change the object's properties and stop falling, eh? That's all well and good. There are other properties too, you know. Uh. If you want, you could uh, change some of them. I mean, if you like. If you want to play around with properties? Object node on just says so. Just say so. Okay. Now it's a liquid. I, I th maybe. Or it's a ghost. If you disable salt, the object will no longer hit or be hit by anything. Um, I. For our next experiment, we'll need a second object note on. Okay. I uh, yep. I'm a spear. More the box will fall down toward it. Well, the box fell right through the sphere and the floor. Okay. Next, why don't we see what happens when two objects hit one another? They explode. That'd be kind of funny, actually, if they just exploded. 
Call it. Wow, did you see that? Completely enabled solid. Okay, hit and broke. So basically, for that to not happen, we'd have to change the settings of these guys. Uh, destructible, and you probably want to remove destructive as well, right? Yep. Fox still fell and hit the sphere, and the sphere broke! You know the drill. Open this. Open this. Get rid of destructive, and a kaboom. Now it should be safe. Yeah. It looks stupid, but it's safe. <laughs> because we disabled destructive for the box, which means it'll no longer break. Okay. Make it invisible. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Voila, the box, box has disappeared. Actually, it hasn't really disappeared. It's still there, but we disabled its visible properties. You can't see it. No, really. I couldn't tell. Oh, jeez. What's going to happen? This helped us confirm that even though the box is invisible, it still definitely exists on the game screen. Finally done testing properties. Uh, I feel like it's going to be fun making troll levels off of this. Let's go back to the program screen. change things. Yay. And we're done. For now. Still have yet to go through a lot more of the making platforms, but we will save that for later. Oh, jeez. This is going to be interesting. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of um, Game Builder Garage. If you liked it, make sure to give the video push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for um, any game like this? There is another one. I can only think of Mario Maker in this one, but there are others. Or other game suggestions in general you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Want to spe speaking of Mario Maker? If you want to check out my playlist for that, it kind of just came to a halt at a point. I don't know what happened, but if you do want to check that out, click the link in the bottom right corner. Our train take you to that destination. Um, if anything stops on this right, click the link across right here, and the train take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!